looks like this is how things look from this last session on the left. This is the new blue. And over here on the right is where we started. You see there's a little bit of the it's kind of lurch there on the right as we started. Still, that's looking so much better, buddy. Good and gradual progress. And you know how strong it is again. Right through here, that's a really strong look. A very strong look right through there. Um, those hands and arms, buddy. And that stopping of the hips, like looks like we know, looks so good on the KVS. And over here. That's easy for you now, very easy to do something better with that club head. Make sure arms look better in the follow through. This is what that looks like. Again, man, it looks so sweet there with your left leg solid, your hips stopping very well, your head up better, and his arms extended. That's a very good look. And then when we work on this, Again, this helps us see that it's not really your legs that are causing the head to go up and down. Even though your legs didn't look perfect on this swing, it's really the torso muscles that we figured out. So again, there we see what's going on with your shoulder, kind of your left ear. And by the time you get there, that left ear is really going down. I love how those arms look though, buddy. You know the force is bad. So here we go, starting to work on it. After we figured out, right, that it seems like we can accurately deduce that it's your um, cervical and your thoracic spine that are causing that head to go down so much. So now, that's getting better there. Kept working at it. There you go, better. Keeps getting better and better. The new blue there, man. Look at that. There's impact. And then compared to setup, that looks a whole lot better than where we started that day. And then anything you can do, right? To, I care your. <coughs> excuse me. The head wasn't touching that club head cover as you started the swing, but it was there enough to remind you what you're doing. And it really helps, obviously, make that torso look a whole lot better on the down for the your whole torso is not going down so hard. And then here's the last swing right there. So that's a whole lot better than where you started. And then a couple days later, when I saw you out of the range after you'd driven to the course <laughs> by yourself that time, uh, that swing really looks good out on the range. Blake, so that was very good news. Very nice. That's great news, man. Keep up the good. Okay, Bill. We're going to test you, your stability of your core. Let's have you do a single leg stand. Let's see what the figures show. Okay, so you're going to bring your knee up a little higher. There you go. Hold that. What the machine is testing is, is stability. It's looking at your hips, it's looking at your side bend, it's also looking at your upper body. Everything should be perfectly level. As you see, you're struggling a little bit. What we normally see with a lot of our athletes is we see this type of motion. And as you can see, the figure turns red, comes totally out of his normal position that he should be in. And the K, the K trainer will pick up everything of any faulty movement that he's performing. This can be an educational tool also. Now let's switch legs and see what it looks like. This is what we've seen a lot of athletes. One side's a little asymmetrical compared to the other. He struggles a little bit with this side. And the K trainer doesn't lie. This is Joel Suggs. I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend and showing you your swing on the 2D equipment that I have. And so I want to take about two or three minutes to just show you around Meadowlink. 
This is the studio I use in the winter for all my students. You see there's the down the line camera angle for our 2D equipment. And then we have the face on camera angle also. And then what we also have here is 3D equipment to where I can show you your swing from six different camera angles with this 3D equipment. And we can get your swing from down to the 1 20th of a, 1 120th of a second in terms of exactly what your hips, shoulders, and hands are doing in the swing. And then also, we, I have the most realistic hitting curve I've ever seen from PutterZ.com. So when you get your full shots, it feels as realistic as possible. And then I have three different green speeds for you to practice your putting. 9.5 on the centimeter, 10.5 on the centimeter, and 12.5 on the centimeter. That's benefited my students tremendously. And then also I have a lot of learning aids like this smart stick. You can see the rest of those learning aids over here in my bag that we can work on to help you learn a certain field in the golf swing that you and I both want. And then also I help my students a lot with their equipment through the winter. This is a frequency analyzer where we twang your club and it gives us a reading here. And then also we plot your whole set, each club on this, these lines to see if the set is really matched or not. Quite often they aren't and it helps my students tremendously when they find out what clubs are the offending clubs. And then if we get tired of being indoors and we want to go outdoors and get some, we can do that. It's my daughter. Ellie, good to see you. I haven't seen her in weeks. <laughs> no wonder you've been gone, Ellie. You've been out here playing in the snow all this time. But this is our natural turf area. This is closed until April, as you can see. Uh, but it's a fantastic area where we can step outside and hit some balls and get some real ball flight. Or, if we get pretty satisfied and things are looking better on the video here, we're kind of cooped up inside and want to go outside, we can step on out and hit balls and see real ball flight for about 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, however long you and I can stand the cold, out into the air and we see them land at these different flags. I have a yardage book for this driving range. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life where we know exactly what it is with the front, back, and middle of each screen. And again, the covered area here is heated. So we stay out there for about 5, 10, 15 minutes, like I said. It enables us to see some ball flight. And then we get satisfied as things are looking the way we want. And we come back inside, take off our coat, and look again at the video equipment to see how your swing's looking, to make sure that you understand it. And then notice, too, my exercise ball up top here. And then also, so I help my students a lot with their fitness through the winter, and then I will help you also with your sports psychology, with your golf psychology from the golfpsych.com people down in Texas. That's helped my students tremendously a lot over the years, too. So again, I sure enjoyed meeting you down at the Cincinnati Golf Show this weekend. I look forward to seeing you again out here this summer at Meadowlinks, or even right now in the winter. I have a lot of people that work on their games with me right through the winter. Check out more information about the things I do to help you at joelsud.com. Take care.